So we have a great case for you here today. We have a 59-year-old uh, female. She has a chronic total occlusion of the left SFA with three vessel runoff. Let's go ahead and go uh, to our angiogram. The initial angiograms show the left common femoral has no significant disease. The profunda femoral artery is widely patent. The SFA comes down to approximately the, the proximal segment. And interestingly here, you have a large collateral that comes off right at number 14. So you need something with directional capability. And I think Ocelot will provide uh, a nice directional capability here. So as we continue to move down the leg, you see that the SFA comes back at around 30, uh, I'm sorry, at 29. And it's still severely diseased at 29. So we have to be aware of that because it's still possible that we can go into a subintimal plane here. All right, so we're gonna use that wire and we're gonna slowly advance our ocelot. There we go, we pop through. That looks like a good, good lesion there. We see right at nine, yeah, nine to 12. Which you really don't appreciate on fluoroscopy. So again, one of the advantages of having OCT imaging is identifying the morphology as you're crossing the CTO so that you know when you come back what you're going to treat in your treatment algorithm and what you're dealing with. And I'm slowly advancing. There's our line there at, at uh, 9 to 12. I want to keep away from that. Looks good. That's a beautiful example of your EEL. You want to stay away from that. So I'm putting my middle marker on top of that. Great layers there. Thin cap at three or four o'clock. Remember, we're doing this with minimal to no fluoro. And even though we have a rad pad, I have a skull cap, I have lead on, still getting fluoro exposure. So whatever we can do to help us reduce that is beneficial. So let's bring our ocelot down to here. And I think we're through, my friends. All right, so we're gonna hold on to that. And we're gonna advance. So, you know, any non-hydrophilic wire with a stiff tip, doesn't matter what it is. I like that for getting through the distal cap. going nicely yeah and we should see our starburst here and there you go that's our starburst so we know we're in the true lumen here distally but we're still not out of trouble I want to make sure that our wire is going freely before we celebrate all right and it's going freely I'm going to inflate the balloon and I'm going to slowly advance and here at 12 o'clock, you see media adventitia, but we're away from that. And I can make sure that we don't get into that area. So I'm going to continue to advance, advance, advance. I'm going to give a little bit more balloon here. I want to, now there, you see how close we are to the media adventitia line. Now, this is very important. What you want to do uh, first, before you deflate the balloon, you want to stop, or oh, you want to close the cutter. So I'm going to close the cutter completely. So now I'm going to open it back up, identify where I'm going to be. So that is looking straight into the medial wall. I'm going to go away from that, identify my plaque. You see some calcium there too. It's a really nice shot of that. So, and I'm going to inflate my balloon and I'm going to advance. 
That's really nice. There you see media, close, deflate. Open up. Identify our lesion, inflate balloon, and advance. Advance, advance, we're getting close, but we're still okay. And remember, you don't have this type of capability with any other device. Your ability to visualize, oh, they're a little close there, see that? How we got that close? Now, if I had any other atherectomy, so I'm closing first, then I'm deflating my balloon. Any other atherectomy device, I would cut right through that. I would be cutting through media adventitia and really not being able to identify my layers. And there's a trough right there. No, balloon is down. See our trough? Uh, we're going to start with light balloon inflation. And then once you advance, then you can start digging in with a little bit more balloon. And it's just something you have to play with and get used to. It really gives you unprecedented control of your atherectomy. That's what it's all about with Pantheris. You can control the depth of your atherectomy. You can control the safety of your atherectomy. Yeah, looks good. All right, go ahead and put that aside. So there we go, you can see our plaque. All right, so let's go ahead and do an angiogram, see what we're looking at. And our distal cap was around 24, 25, and then we had disease all the way down to about 37 to 40. About 40, I think, is where it was. So, so we did great atherectomy there. That looks really good to me. We're gonna go ahead and follow up with DCB. Beautiful, looks great. So that's post DCB, looks really good. Beautiful, looks really good. Nice case. So again, great imaging. We crossed with a, a uh, ocelot device. We had a large proximal port. Go ahead and finish that up. We had a, a large proximal collateral that we got through with our ocelot. Went through a lot of plaque and then cleaned up with the Pantheris device followed with the DCB, uh, no distal uh, occlusions, uh, excellent flow at the end of the procedure, less than 10% uh, residual stenosis, looked really good.